Hey everybody, Will here, blogging at machineloveus.com. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to put an animated chart on our Vue.js plus Flask website that we've been working on. This is, um, D3.js is a charting visualization library and I chose it over some of the Python options because of how extensible and how easy it is to use. Well, maybe not easy, but uh, it's very flexible. It's a lot more flexible than the options that you get in Python. And you get this nice little animated chart for our Vue.js Flask website. So let's go through, let's put D3 on this site. Okay, the first thing I wanna say about this is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel with D3.js. It's been around a while. Um, Mike Bostock, who I believe invented it, works for the New York Times, a lot of the New York Times, a lot of the Washington Post. Animations, visualizations are done in D3. And so there's a big community around it. And so you don't have to, you don't have to go and reinvent the wheel. You can essentially search online for the thing that you want to put on the website. And then what's great is when you find something that you think you like, let's say I wanted a line chart like this, um, then on this, this, bl.ox.org uh, what you get is all the code right there uh, that you can essentially copy and paste and put into it and this is the code that I took from this uh, d3 v4 line chart uh, I am using version 4 of d3 and uh, I brought that over so how did I bring this over so what we need is we need all of this script information from D3. We'll get the CSS later. And then in our uh, Flask Vue.js project, which we've called Clout uh, in prior videos, in the SRC and the source components, you're going to make a new component called chart.view. Um, I named it pack chart. And essentially, you just need a template that's the body. This is where the, the chart is going to hook onto on the component. Again, this is Vue.js, so our, our template is right here, our HTML, and our script is right below. I essentially took this uh, D3 v4 line chart. No, no shame in copying and pasting here. We are going to modify this, and that's what I've done a little bit. Uh, take that and copy that over into this script, uh, into the script location on your Vue.js uh, template. So uh, let's see. Hold on. <clears throat> Meanwhile, in the background here, I have the site running with yarn serve. So what's great about Yarn is that any changes that I make will update the site. So um, you can copy the, the line style over first and then manipulate the colors if you want, it's fine. Uh, and then just copy and paste that chart information in there. So let me, if I comment out this and I just take this D3 uh, I already copied over the styles, let's say, put the styles right there, and then copy over the script. Now you might have to install D3 first. There's a view way to do that, which is import star as D3 from D3. You're going to have to install it via view first to get it in here. There are blog posts about how to do that. I'm not going to do that in this post. But essentially what you'll see, you should see something like this. This is the line chart. <clears throat> not sure why it knocked out all my other stuff. But that line chart is randomly generated and it will generate new lines every time a person every time you refresh, which, which is kind of nice, kind of interesting. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's what you get. You might have different colors there. Let me go back to my old script. Okay, so uh, that's it. Okay, so now so now you'd have the chart. Actually, you might not see that in your um, on your main page yet because in app dot view, uh, what you need to do is you need to import. So this is our main template. You need to import. Oh, I suppose it's in the home view. Sorry, views home dot view. You need to import the chart. <clears throat> Main chart, and that's it. So, uh, again, the chart we called it packed name packed chart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch this to main, main chart. And if I switch that to main chart, then my home page won't be able to find it or shouldn't be able to find it. Hmm, I suppose it can. I'm not sure why it shouldn't be able to. Because I should need to import it like that. Okay, guys. Well, I have to admit that I'm a bit stuck here. Uh, if you use, if you connect this uh, D3 to the body, um, to the body HTML tag, what it'll do is it'll show up on every page. So our D3 chart is rendering. It's rendering with uh, an animation that we want. So if I put the template body tags and if I have D3 select the body and then import it into the app.view uh, homepage, what it will do is this line will show up. I added a transition here to essentially copied over from that, that um, D3 V4 line chart and modified that. And then what you can do, which is nice, is you can compose things to add a transition. You need to play with, uh, you need to play with the code a bit to figure out exactly how you want the transition to look. But you can just add to your line these kind of transitions to get this effect. So this is here. Um, there are, there are a few different ways to add transitions to a D3. This one, uh, and playing around with it, added this kind of cyclic, almost like a roller coaster transition here. I also needed to play with the generation of the data to get this curve instead of just a random line every time. Um, but what I need to work on is not having this chart show up. So the chart should not be selecting the body tag all the time. It should be selecting a specific HTML tag, uh, which doesn't seem to be working at the moment, but I'll get it up and we'll reference in the next video what I did to solve this issue. That's it. I mean, once I figure this, this HTML piece out, which shouldn't be too bad, um, that's it. Each of our D3.js uh, pieces of code visualizations will live in their own little component and then we can import them into different views. And then uh, what we need to do is connect some data to it that's just not canned data. So in the future we'll be loading either from S3 or maybe even computing off of our DynamoDB database the kind of live information that we want to put on the website. So this, this site is coming together. In the next video, I'll have the, the solution to not having this on every single page. Uh, but this is our FlashView.js website with D3 in it. So let me know your thoughts, comments. Maybe you figured out uh, this challenge that I, that I can't seem to figure out right now. So let me know, and I will catch you in the next video.